Hey guys, welcome to another video of the Oracle's Classroom. If you like this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing some accounting minutia related to Berkshire Hathaway. I wanted to share it because I learned something about the statement of cash flows and shareholders equity uh, that I didn't know before, and I wanted to pass it along as an example of, first of all, something to investigate in the financial statements, uh, but also something to be aware of. So we'll uh, delve right in. Appreciate you tuning in and thanks for watching and uh, stay rational. Here we have the financing section of the cash flow statement from the Berkshire Hathaway 2019 annual report. And this is the first place that I go to to see what Berkshire did in terms of share repurchases during the period. And as we can see here, during 2019, Berkshire repurchased $4,850,000,000 of Treasury stock. So that's, this is the first place that I looked. The issue arose when I started to go through the change in shareholders' equity statement. And as we can see in this statement, the Treasury stock column indicates that Berkshire repurchased $5,016,000,000 of its own common stock. So there was a $166 million difference between the statement of cash flows and the statement of reconciliation of shareholders' equity, uh, with the equity section being higher than the cash flow statement. And here we have the same statements from the first quarter report, and I put them on the same page for ease of viewing. And the answer to why the difference in the two statements on the 2019 report was that it was really a timing of cash flows. So Berkshire had committed to making these purchases of its own stock, but hadn't actually paid the cash, or at least $166 million of that cash at year end. And we can see this effect reverse in the uh, first quarter report for Berkshire where the cash flow statement is now higher than the statement of shareholders' equity. And the difference is the same 166 million. So fortunately, Berkshire did not have any other similar type of transactions that muddy the water. Uh, so this is a very clean example of the statements, uh, the two statements catching up to each other. And here we have the Re reconciliation laid out, uh, all four figures laid out on one page, and we can see the difference uh, between the two converge after two periods. So thanks again for watching, for listening in. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos uh, or even suggestions on how to improve these videos, uh, please let me know. And please uh, be sure to take a look at our other videos on uh, the YouTube channel for the Oracles Classroom, as well as visit the oraclesclassroom.com, which has a whole host of Berkshire Hathaway blog posts, financial statements, other archives, as well as book recommendations. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Take care.